the CBOE 10-year U.S. Treasury Yield Index looking back to August 2021 when interest rates for the 10-year were 1.174. I'll zoom into the current area you now. And if you've been following along, you'll remember from November of 2022 when the first big W started to form over here at the A. So it formed here and gave a measure rule from B to C and then moved up to the breakout point of 15%, put it off of the charts, and it whipsawed and failed, and that negated this big W. But in the process of the first big W failing after the whipsaw, it created another one and this one broke out in the beginning of May right here and the measure rule from B to C is 9.8 percent and moved up to the breakout point brings it up to 3.961 for the 10 year and it's breaking out of this level here at 3.814 and in the pre-market for the Treasury 10-year, it's at 3.88. So that is a breakout, and we have to watch to see if it can make it up to 3.961 or closer. And the S&P price in the pre-market hours at 5.50 a.m. on the 30th is 44.16. So... The higher 10-year seems to have no effect on equities. And if this stays broken out of this level here, 3.814, then it's worth extending duration of the treasuries, possibly up to the 10-year and beyond.